Vision Touch Online. My name is Amani. Now today we'll be looking at the character of a woman and that's why the title of this video is Character is Everything. Last time we looked at a certain aspect of the character of a man where he shouldn't spend his time just chasing after women and getting involved in a lot of immorality. Now today we're going to look at a certain aspect of that woman of a noble character. So from Proverbs 31 verse 10 to 31, I have picked three aspects that I'd like to expound on. And the first is, she is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. I think one of the things that is a misconception, especially these days, and of course there's nothing new under the sun, is how you dress, all right? Yes, you're clothed with dignity. Yeah, dignity refers mainly to your character, but also, I mean, sorry, yes, you're clothed with strength, and strength is in reference to your character, your mental strength in terms of your character, your physical and emotional strength, and even your spiritual strength, but also dignity. You need to be clothed in dignity. And in a world of today, the sassier, the more exposed you are, hmm, that looks nice. But I tell you, a woman of noble character is dressed in dignity. And trust me, <laughs> I know this better than anyone else. You know, before I was born again, I made mistakes. And I paid for those mistakes much later. And you may say, my body, I can dress however I want. Yes, it is your body, you can dress however you want. However, you cannot control people's perceptions and people's assumptions about you. Once you go a little bit too far, an assumption will be made about your character, and that an assumption will be made about how you carry yourself. And I remember back in the day, before I was born again, I pushed the envelope a little too far in certain instances. And I can tell you, when it was time to settle down, oh, <laughs> my character was summed up, judged, and convicted because of that one dressing. People will make assumptions, and even before you open your mouth, you will be judged. So remember, to clothe yourself in dignity so that your character is not overlooked. You might have the most amazing character, you've worked on yourself on the inside, but how you dress is sort of just standing in the way. And yes, you know, you're, you're thinking, okay, fine, you know, I'm, I'm a good person on the inside, but maybe this your certain prince charming, the sister is like, ah, pana, chana pana, you know, and maybe it's because of how you dress. So please, ladies, make sure that you're clothed in dignity before you're convicted, judged, you know, and condemned because of not dressing well. And anyway, a good woman, a virtuous woman is dressed in dignity. So dress in dignity. It's a beautiful thing. Second aspect I'd like to look at is she speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. Now for you to be able to speak with wisdom and have faithful instruction from your tongue, out of the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaks. You need to have fed yourself. Out of the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaks. So whatever you have in your heart, whatever you've been feeding yourself with, whatever you've been looking at, whatever you've been reading, that is what will be abundant in your heart and that is what you're going to speak. So what are you delving on? What books are you reading? How are you gaining knowledge during your singlehood? Are you spending your time collecting hearsays here and there and not really working on solid stuff? You know, are you spending your word on the word? Are you spending your I mean, are you spending your time on the word? Are you spending your time just expounding on your knowledge about things? It doesn't sometimes really have to be just exclusively about, you know, the Bible and everything. It could be even about certain things that you have interest in. Maybe you have taken interest in investments and all that kind of stuff, business and everything, and that is what you have build up in your heart and that's what will come out of your mouth. I can tell you this for sure, when a man is quoting you, he will spend time talking to you. That coffee date, that lunch date, he's assessing, is this a woman who has wisdom? What is coming out of her mouth? Are you going to go to a place and all that you're saying is you know the name of all, eh? Of all the drinks, which one gets you where, which one is 
not can't get you very drunk and which one will really make you drunk and how many shots you need to take for one to three i'm out, out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks why are you going to spend your time talking about so and so i mean this guy is quoting you but you call you you're busy talking about his friend you know who did one two three let that sit down over coffee be one full of wisdom that he will go home and think wow that woman she's something she's ruby or more than a ruby right exactly now the third aspect is charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting but a woman who fears the lord is to be praised after all is said and done that woman that is god fearing that woman that finds her solace and strength in the lord is the ultimate victorious woman I spent so many years being single and I can tell you this for sure eh a dude will spend his life in the bar chasing chicks out there doing everything by the time he decides to settle down he is going to go for that lady that fears the lord 90% of them will do that now your relationship with god should not be based on the fact of trying to end up with a man it's for your own good and it's for the good you know it's for your soul and the salvation of your soul and for you to live the life that god has ordained for you but most importantly there are benefits of being found in the lord that guy prince charming settles with the woman who is virtuous and the woman who fears the lord not really the most gorgeous woman i mean good for you if you're blessed with looks but can you imagine if God has blessed you with amazing looks that are you know appealing to a lot of people and on top of that you're a woman who fears the Lord and you have your sound grounding on God you are worth more than a ruby and also beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder what may seem beautiful to one person may not really be beautiful to another so beauty is relative to some extent find your sound grounding in God spend time with God build your word on god so those are the three aspects i'll look at for today maybe next time we could delve into more based on proverbs 31 verse 10 god bless you and jesus loves you this is seetam chat online be blessed